How's it going today, guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about some Godzilla vs. Kong news. Basically, we have an update about the um, writing room from Terry Rossio. I think that's how you say his last name. Don't crucify me if I'm wrong. I'm only human and can read. But basically, um, we have almost like him saying he is done with the writing room. So this could be a good sign for Godzilla vs. Kong that the development of the story was going smoothly. So I'm just going to read through this really quick for you guys and um, let me know what you guys think when I'm done. So Terry Rossio comments on the Godzilla vs. Kong writer's room. Though Terry Rossio's draft for the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean film was rejected, he was given story credit for the characters and ultimately landed on the radar for the movie's press machine. During a Pirates interview, the Hollywood Reporter asked about his progress on Godzilla vs. Kong. The head of the upcoming film's writer's room gave a short but detailed reply regarding the story's writing process. What's interesting about this answer is that he speaks of it in past tense. This could imply that his part of the film is done, or perhaps he's just received as much as he needs out of it out of the writer's room. So. His comment is, Godzilla vs. Kong was my first experience running a writer's room, and it was fantastic. It was a blast reading samples, meeting different writers, and crafting a story in a group setting. It felt similar to animation, where the film is happening up on the walls, and our end result is better than any one person could accomplish on their own. So, it's encouraging Rossio felt so positive about the experience. The writer was responsible for the original version of Tristairs Godzilla, which was, the, which was to be directed by Debont, John Dubont in 1994. That story included a more traditional Godzilla that battled a monster known as Griffin. This is some old stuff right here. This was all what everybody wanted. <laughs> Tristar passes version off of the film due to budget concerns. Rossio still got credit for the wildly different 1998 movie that was directed by Roland Emmerich, but he laments that it was only due to the Writers Guild loopholes. So, it's almost like he got bad press because he was still featured for 98's Roland Emmerich version, when in reality that was miles different from what he originally envisioned, which is the stuff we've seen the art for and the script for, which is what everybody wanted, and not the Zilla nightmare that Roland Emmerich said, I hate Godzilla, I'm in it for the money, and we got. So, continuing on, yes, we worked on it, Godzilla, but our script got thrown out, we got story credit because they kept some basic elements, but in our draft, Godzilla fought a second monster and kicked his ass. That's what everybody wanted, and he knew what everybody wanted, and he knew how to fall for that, but Roland fucked it up, because fuck Roland. Sorry. Hopefully this time the final product will be closer to Rossio's ass-kicking Godzilla he envisioned in 94. So, that's all he had to say. And, it sounds like things are going pretty good. Pretty good. So, I'm excited for that. Um, I'm glad that we are getting, you know, information about this movie before Godzilla 2 is even out. I mean, like, Godzilla 2 information is still scarce these days, but we're getting updates on Godzilla vs. Kong, which is after the movie we don't even have yet, so I really, it, it's really exciting knowing how much, how much Warner Brothers and Legendary are, like, putting into this project to make sure that they get, like, the best experience that they can, and that I'm sure us fans will be satisfied with the results because they are tailoring it to us and not making this an absolute nightmare like 98 all over again. So that's going to be it for you today. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. And yeah, that's really it. Quick little update. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.